I am Solomon Yu. I'm the deputy head of the uh, Age and Extended Care at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. I'm also a clinical associate professor at the University of Adelaide. Well, sarcopenia is an age-related condition that is characterized by loss of muscle mass and loss of muscle strength. Muscle mass and strength peaked at the age of 40 and declined thereafter. What is really scary about this is that sarcopenia is often asymptomatic. That means you don't feel anything as it declines. So the consequences of sarcopenia are many. The most important one and often brings to our attention is, is falls. So it leads to falls and it also leads to increased risk of hospitalizations, increased risk of losing functions, uh, losing ability to live at home. And in the worst case scenario, it does lead to death. That's why the condition is, is very important uh, to identify at the earlier stage and allowing us to be able to intervene at a much earlier stage. Those who don't eat as well, those who have lost some weight, those who live in social isolations, those who have multiple medical conditions, who are on many medications, those are the risk group I would be very much uh, keeping in mind that they, they are at highest risk and that's the group that I would strongly recommend that we target them. Diagnosis of sarcopenia is often challenging. At the early stage, one could consider using a questionnaire called SARCF, um, and it's a four questions based questionnaire for which, if you are positive, uh, your screen three or more positive, uh, then it would be uh, a way to put a red flag on and further investigate this. Uh, to confirm the sarcopenia, we often need to do a grip strength uh, analysis. Reading values below a certain level would then qualify you to have low muscle strength. Uh, often that is adequate at the clinical practice and often it would then lead to considerations for interventions. To definitively diagnose sarcopenia, one would then have to measure the muscle mass, which currently the method of measuring it is not really accessible easily to the clinicians, hence it's not often done in the clinical practice but a lot of research work is still ongoing to find an easier way to, to diagnose that at the clinical uh, bedside. Exercise is a highly recommended intervention for sarcopenia. In fact, it's been shown that if you do it regularly, it could reduce the rate of decline in terms of the muscle mass and strength. The form of exercise that's really helpful is actually resistive exercise. Obviously, the research has shown that very clearly. In clinical practice, we are often challenged by the compliance rate, but it's still, nevertheless, the highly recommended approach to combat uh, the onset of sarcopenia. One of the other interventions that is also highly recommended in addition to exercise is to increase your protein diet intake. And this is a standard recommendation um, and it's easily available over the counter um, and can also be en enriched in your diet as well. 